All right, Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Raka Kodash, double honor unto my apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and also the Israelites, which are scattered all around the world living in these different countries and continents amongst these other nations which are the gentiles and these israelites we refer to as the israelite foreigners okay my name is kasad and um i'm gonna entitle this video a few thoughts on vainglory all right um and as you can see on the screen in the search bar in this bible app i have the word vainglory in the search bar and a few scriptures popped up all right and i want to read these scriptures and the reason why i wanted to go into this topic is because you see a lot of this going on amongst the israelites amongst these these different um jakes that know that they're israelites all right when we say jake we mean uh the son of jacob a so-called negro latino native american man they know he's an israelite okay sometimes jake can be referred to as southern tribe too okay but in in this in this uh particular case i want to focus on all the 12 tribes you know because you got different israelites waking up out there all right but a lot of guys man they're not they're not waking up with a sincere mind they want to be they want to be uh the guy so to speak they want to be in the forefront all right you know you got a lot of novices lifted up with pride man they want to cut they want to be the fake forefront jake okay you know because they're not they're not truly in this thing in sincerity they're in this thing for the wrong reasons man okay a lot of guys you know they they just want the the, the notoriety the fame and the praise okay they want to be the ones to act like they came up with this truth first and that's why a lot of them don't want to fall in line they don't want to come up under supervision you know, and guidance under under the orders, you know, the men that came in before them because they entered into other men's labors. But, you know, for the majority of Jake out there, they don't know they don't know they, they just they just waking up to this thing for the first time. They looking at, you know, these guys that's clout chasing and, you know, doing things for for shock value and clickbaits. They looking at these guys like they the deepest thing on you know that's known to man. All right, but the sincere brothers, they're going to see right through that. So without further ado, right, this is Galatians 5 and 26. All right, and I'm going to just read these three particular, and then I'm going to go into a couple of scriptures I got lined up. So it says, let us not be desirous of vainglory, provoking one another, envying one another. That's plain. All right. Philippians 2 and 3. Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. Okay? That's a humble, that is a humble approach. To esteem another person better than yourself. Okay? We in, we, today is July 23rd, 2024. You know, how, how many men you actually see doing having this type of character now you'll see an example of that that just came to mind you'll see like for example like i give an example right you'll see uh mike tyson right he'll he'll be in an interview and they'll ask him like yo so do you think you could take on muhammad ali the greatest of all time all right and he'll answer he'll be like nah i can't i can't beat him you know because he he paved the way for me, all right? Um, and, you know, basically praising the man that came before him, that paved the way for his career, that put on for the sport of boxing, okay? You know, basically he esteemed uh, Muhammad Ali. Like it says right here, he esteemed him better than himself, all right? And that's a humble, that's a humble response to that question. You see athletes do that all the time. Oh, oh, they'll ask Kobe Bryant, yo, you better, you think you could, you think you could beat Michael Jordan? 
you be like, nah, I don't, I, you know, Mike is, you know, he'll answer it in a humble way. Yeah, you know, Mike, Mike, I learned a lot from Mike. I, you know, I, I could never be Michael Jordan. All right, he said that in the interview. Okay, and these are just some examples of uh, popular sports figures in the world. But how much more in his knowledge and his faith and his truth of the Bible, man? This, this is the approach you're supposed to have, man. Okay? And we don't see that. You know, only amongst the sincere men. Okay? This is Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 14. It says, For by the vainglory of men, they entered into the world, and therefore shall they shortly come, shortly to an end. Now, this is talking about the idol worship. Okay? And you read further down, it goes into, you know, these these uh, men, these men of all these different nations, creating these different idols, man. Okay, the scriptures say uh, men have sought out many inventions. Okay, but yeah, that's all for vain glory. Okay, so the Lord is against vain glory. All right, let's get uh, these scriptures I had lined up right. This is Romans chapter 3, verse 1. It says, What advantage then have the Jew? Or what profit is there of circumcision? Yeah, so what's the benefit of being an Israelite? Okay, you know, okay, you might know that you're Israelite, but what's so good about it? Okay, what are the benefits? What are the advantages? Okay. A so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, which are two biblical Israelites. Okay, and somebody might say, and? What's the big deal about it? All right, it, like, what's the profit? All right, and it says right here, what advantage didn't have the Jew, or what profit is there of circumcision, knowing that you Israelite? All right, coming back to your heritage, man. Okay, it says much every way, chiefly because that unto them were committed the oracles of the most high all right so being an israelite man you know you're gonna you're gonna profit in every way okay you know the most high is you know gonna bless his people as you read deuteronomy 28 verses 1 through 15 man and many other scriptures about you know the beauties that's gonna you know the future prophecies of you know what the most high is gonna do for the children of israel man and the kingdom of heaven Okay, you know, all of the blessings that's going to be bestowed upon us, all right, such as being righteous, man, being immortal, never dying, never getting sick, having those incorruptible bodies, all right, that's, but that's either, that's for a whole nother lesson and a whole nother topic, all right, because we know that according to the Bible, man, these things are coming, man, the new covenant that the Most High is going to establish with the children of Israel. And which is only for the children of Israel. Okay. And I say, and I bring the scripture out because a lot of guys, all right, yeah, they may wear the fringes, all right, they may, you know, go out there and curse out the white man, all right, they may curse out the, the black woman, so called, okay, curse out the so called black man, Latino man, Native American man, so called. They may do all these things, man. They may have the theatrical uh, mannerisms and, 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 and speech, eloquent speech. All right. So, yeah, they could be a Jew outwardly, man. All right. The Lord talked about, you know, the scribes and the Pharisees that, you know, put on these gimmicks and these different uh, acts, you know, broadening their phylacteries. OK. Enlarging the borders of their garments. All right, trying to look holier than thou. All right, but you know they were they were, yeah they had they had the outward appearance of it of the Israelite, but guess what the scriptures say about that. Romans two verse twenty nine. It says, "But he is a Jew, which is one inwardly." As a matter of fact, let me just read up. It says. For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision, which is outward in the flesh. Yeah, 
Yeah, because, okay, you might wear the garments on the, the fringes on the t-shirt, which is not a garment, which is not a priestly garment. All right? There's many scriptures that show you how the, how the prophets wore their garments. All right? The best, one of the best uh, examples is our Lord. He wore a garment down to the foot. All right? And they wore, and for the most part, man, the garment, the, the prophets, when they were in captivity, wore garments of sackcloth, man. You know, garments of uh, goat skin, roughly, if I'm, if, I'm, if I'm quoting the scripture right, man. Okay? So it says, for he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision, which is outward in the flesh. All right. And another thing, too, you know, guys, we want to wear their garments and they, and they, you know, they they shirt, they shirts with fringes on it and showing what they believe in. And, you know, what I mean, hey, man, the scriptures say that's not your left hand, not your right hand does. OK, the scriptures talk about being over righteous. The scriptures talk about, um, you know, uh, basically using wisdom, man. All right. All things are lawful, but not expedient. All right. Being incognito, man. You know. Some people, they don't know how to do that. All right. It says, but he is a Jew, which is born inwardly. And circumcision is that of the heart. Which is your mind and the spirit. And not in the letter. Whose praise is not of men, but of the Most High. Okay? So, yeah. It says he is a Jew, which is one inwardly. Meaning what? Okay. um, Yeah. He knows he's an Israelite, but he he's sincere about this truth. All right? He actually applies the scriptures in his life. All right? He actually fears the Most High. That's the ultimate. That's the ultimate thing. That's the duty of man. It's to fear the Most High. Okay, guys that actually fear the most high, actually, man, guys that actually apply these scriptures to themselves, man, apply these laws, that commandments to themselves, man, apply this, these proverbs and these wise sayings to themselves, man, these wise counsels, all right, the things that were in before time, they're applying it to themselves, all right, these are the Jew, these are the real Jews that is a Jew inwardly, man, all right, a real Israelite, man. All right, because we know that Jew is short for Judah, which is the head tribe of the nation of Israel, but there are 12 other tribes, man. All right, and it's synonymous with being an Israelite. So, you know, the real the real Israelites in the spirit, all right, is not just being, knowing you're Israelite, not just being of the blood of Israel, but also having the, the mentality of an Israelite, man. All right, I'm, I, 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 Fearing the Most High, fearing His Son, worshiping the Most High, worshiping His Son, applying, you know, all these things, all of this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Scriptures in your day to day life. That's sincere man of the Lord, man. Okay, and in doing that, you're gonna be humble. Okay, you're not gonna be looking for vain glory, and you know, um, you're gonna give credit when credit is due, pay homage to. The men whose labors you entered into, the men whose you actually learned from, which a lot of guys have a problem with. And that's why most high is breaking up these camps. These 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 rebel camps, man. Okay. Cause they have no order. They have no true order. Alright. But it is what it is. So I got one more. And I'll wrap this up. All right, uh, let me get that, Matthew 23. All right, uh, it says Matthew 23. I start at verse uh, 1. It says, Then spake Yahweh Shai to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All therefore whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do. But do not, after, do not ye after their works, for they say and do not. For they bind heavy burdens, and grievous to be born and lay them on men's shoulders but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers but all their works they do for to be seen of men 
They make broad their phylacteries and enlarge the borders of their garments and love the uppermost rooms at feasts and the chief seats in the synagogues and greetings in the markets and to be called the men Rabbi, Rabbi, which is a master. This is but be not ye called Rabbi for one is your master, even Hamashiach and all ye are brethren. All right, so these guys love these these titles, okay? These vain titles, these vain glory. All right, you know they want to be in the chief seat. All right, they want to be amongst the elite, top ranking guys, but that's not the mentality you're supposed to be in, man. You know, the scriptures say to grit out, the more humble thyself. All right. All right, not to be one to be put up on a pedestal, man. Like I said, they want to be, you know, greeted in the markets, man. You know, that's being put up on a pedestal. Okay, they want to be a somebody. All right, this is but all their works they do was to be seen in men. That's all it is, man. You guys want to be seen in men. All right, they want to be famous. But the Lord said He's going to give us praise and fame, man. But guys don't want to wait for the Lord to raise us up. Okay. Right? And they don't want to they don't want to uh glorify Yahweh shot. They want to glorify themselves. Alright? Another thing guys be doing, man, they wanna instead of using Yahweh Shai as their avatar, they want you know, or depiction of Yahweh Shai, you know. They wanna use their their own images, man. They wanna um they want to big up their own selves. And, oh, yeah. Oh, you know, uh, this brother goes in. And, 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 you know what I'm saying? This brother goes in in the midst of all of these demons. And, you know, make trying to make a name for themselves, man. Okay? But, you know, we already broke it down. That's not the mentality to be in. There's many scriptures that go against pride and Main glory and you know self, self like scripture say ex self exaltation man, all right, self self exaltation rather, cause ain't not with ain't not wrong with being exhorted to to do the right thing, which is fear the Most High and be diligent to make it calm like you're sure, but when you exalt yourself, the scriptures say, you shall be abased, all right, and you shall be. An example before, you know, Israel, all right, before the congregation, man, all right, and that's a shameful thing, there's going to be many guys, when it's all said and done, and we in the kingdom of heaven, they're going to have their heads down for a time, all right, but, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, uh, I'm going to digress, all right, I'm going to keep on going into this, which I could, but, you know, the point was made, so low willingness less was edifying, and with that I'ma say shallow on. Until next time.